In this video, uh, we're going to show you how to use a Avalon XIP camera with Synology. So first I'm going to log into my camera. It has already been deployed with a certain IP address and I'm using Chrome on a Mac and I'm going to log in using my password. And if you see uh, this circle that just keeps on circling, you may want to log out and log back in. First I just want to show you the settings here that you need to use to ensure uh, proper video and audio getting to your browser. In here you can select different resolutions. This is a 4K camera. Just for uh, the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put it on 1080p. So you, you can choose the video encoding stream for the mainstream and the substream here in the camera and Synology will be able to record on that. You have to make sure you keep on using H.264. H.265 will not work depending on the version of uh, the Synology you're using at the time of making this video. We found that using the Envy protocol on Synology, the H.265 uh, did not work with the Synology units. Here under audio, you want to ensure that you have mainstream and substream audio enabled for both. You have AAC set and the highest sampling frequency. It lets you choose, um, I believe 64,000 is the highest here. So that makes sure you get the best possible audio quality. This camera that we have, it actually has a line in for audio and I have that enabled with an external microphone connected and we'll show that to you in just a second. So those are the two things. You set the video and the audio and you go to live mode to view the camera. And here I can see my camera and uh, I can also hear it. So I'm gonna have someone just play a video sample so you can hear it through the system audio. Here there's a sample audio that was just playing. So I'm going to stop that now and uh, move on to showing you how to use the camera with Synology. And uh, before I go, you can actually also use the, the zoom controls here and be able to control the zoom lens if you have a motorized zoom camera as well. And these functions we found, uh, as I'll show you in just a second, will flow over into the Synology units as well. Having the access to um, we prefer uh, Internet Explorer. If you're using a Mac, you should always have a VM uh, Windows machine on the side. But in this case, on the firmware for this camera, it does work well with uh, Chrome as well on a Mac. So I'm going to log out and add the camera to Synology. I already have my surveillance station pulled up. So what I'm going to do is add a camera. And then I'm going to just use the quick setup and hit next and name the camera something and put in its IP address. Sometimes uh, it may not be able to find the cameras easily, so you should actually configure IP addresses on the cameras and username and passwords. And I'm going to load capability. Notice that I left the brand and the camera model as Envive, and it automatically sensed it as H.264. Now I'm going to hit test connection. And I got video and hit finish. So now, once uh, my camera is connected, I can actually edit a few things here. And by right-clicking and editing, it lets me edit here certain video parameters. But for some reason, whenever I add a camera, it changes it to 720p, as you can see here. I'm going to set it to 4K and 15 FPS to give you better image quality. Save that. And then let me show you in live view mode how it looks. So this is what I see on my uh, Mac display. I can actually hear myself talking in the background because the microphone's on on this thing. And I can actually control the volume and mute it. So based on the firmware and the version of the Synology uh, surveillance station, um, we're able to hear audio and also we can actually control the zoom on the camera. So I'm actually zoomed in all the way already and I'm gonna zoom out. I can just zoom in just a little bit. And I can also use the uh, digital zoom ability to look at license plates. So having 4K cameras really helps because you can certainly um, get a lot of detail out of them.
any pixelation you're seeing here, it's being done by um, Synology itself based on how it's rendering it. So of course, we always recommend using our NVRs, but um, when you start using the Envy protocol, uh, Synology tries to do its best to get the best video, but uh, of course, when you use our cameras, we see much better, um, uh, we see less pixelation when using uh, the cameras with our own native NVRs. So I've so shown you that the motorized zoom works and also the, um, lo the audio works as well. I'll have somebody just play a short music clip here. There you go. So we can hear audio, we can control the lens and uh, it has a lot to offer when using it, our cameras with a Synology uh, surveillance station as well. Thanks for watching.